In this video, we will discuss integration by substitution. Here's the process for integration by substitution. First, let u equal g of x, where g of x is part of the integrand, usually the inside function of a composite function, f of g of x. Then find du equals g prime of x. Use the substitution u equals g of x and du equals g prime of x dx to convert the entire integral into one involving only u. Fourth, find the resulting integral. And fifth, replace u by g of x to obtain the final solution as a function of x. Note, sometimes we need to consider different choices of g for the substitution u equals g of x in order to carry out steps three and four. So for example, find the integral of 2x times x squared plus 3 to the positive fourth dx. First, observe that the integrand involves the composite function x squared plus 3 raised to the fourth power with inside function g of x equals x squared plus 3. We choose u equals x squared plus 3. Second, we find du equals 2x dx. We use the substitution u equals x squared plus 3 and du equals 2x dx to obtain the integral of 2x times x squared plus 3 raised to the fourth power dx equals the integral of x squared plus 3 to the fourth power times 2x dx equals the integral of u to the fourth du, an integral involving only the variable u. Fourth, find the resulting integral the integral of u to the fourth du equals one fifth u to the fifth plus c. And we replace u by x squared plus three and get the square root of two x times x, to x squared plus three to the fourth dx equals one fifth x squared plus three to the fifth equals c, uh, sorry, plus c. Find the integral of three times the square root of three x plus one dx. Here we let seven, seven. Here we let u equal three x plus one. So du equals three dx. We rewrite the integral to reflect this. The integral of three times the square root of three x plus one dx equals the integral of the square root of 3x plus 1 times 3dx, which is the integral of the square root of u du. Integrating, we find the integral of the square root of u du is equal to the integral of the square root of u to the 1 half du, which is 1 over 3 halves times u to the 3 halves plus c, which is 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. Replace u by 3x plus 1 and get the, square, uh, the integral of 3 times the square root of 3x plus 1 dx equals 2 thirds times 3x plus 1 to the 3 halves plus c. Find the integral of x squared times x cubed plus 1 to the 3 halves dx. Here we let u equal x cubed plus 1. So du equals 3x squared dx. This means that 1 third du equals x squared dx. And we rewrite the integral to reflect this. The integral of x squared times x cubed plus 1 to the 3 halves dx is the integral of x cubed plus 1 to the 3 halves times x squared dx, which is the integral of u to the 3 halves times 1 third du, which is 1 third times the integral of u to the 3 halves dx. Now we integrate to find that one third times the integral of u to the three halves du is one third times one over five halves times u to the five halves plus c, which is two fifteenths u to the five halves plus c. We replace u with x cubed plus one and get our final answer, the integral of x squared times x cubed plus one to the three halves dx equals two fifteenths times x cubed plus one to the five halves plus c. Find the integral of e to the negative 3x dx. Let u equal negative 3x, then du equals negative 3 dx or negative 1 third du equals dx. We rewrite the integral. 
the integral of e to the negative 3 dx equals the square, uh, the integral of e to the u times negative one third du, which is negative one third times the integral of e to the u du. We integrate with respect to u to get negative one third integral of e to the u du equals negative one third e to the u plus c. Replacing u by negative three x, we get the integral of e to the negative three x dx equals, that should, there shouldn't be an integral in there, I apologize. That's equal to negative one third e to the three, negative three x plus c. Find the integral of x over three x squared plus one dx. We let u equal three x squared plus one and du equals six x dx or one sixth du equals x dx. This gives us the integral of x over three x squared plus one dx equals the integral of one sixth divided by u du or one sixth times the integral of one over u du equals one sixth times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c, which is equal to one sixth times the natural log of three x squared plus one plus c. Since three x squared plus one is greater than zero for all x, we do not need the absolute value signs. Find the integral of the natural log of x squared over two x dx. We let u equal the natural log of x, so du equals one over x dx. Then the integral of the natural log of x squared over two x dx equals one half times the integral of the natural log of x squared over x dx, which is one half times the integral of u squared du, which is one sixth u cubed plus c, which is equal to one sixth times the natural log of x raised to the third power plus c. Here's a practical example. In 2000, the head of research and development uh, of the research and development department of Solaron Corporation claimed that the cost of reducing solar cell panels would drop at the rate of 105 over two times three T plus five squared for zero less than or equal to T less than or equal to 15 uh, dollars per peak watt for the next T years with T equals zero corresponding to the beginning of 2000. In 2000, the panels, which are used for photo photovoltaic power systems, cost $4 per peak watt. Find an expression giving the cost per peak watt of producing solar cell panels at the beginning of year T. What was the cost at the beginning of 2012? Let's see if T denote the cost per peak watt for producing solar cell panels at the beginning of year T. Then C prime of T equals negative 105 over two times three T plus five quantity squared. Integrating, we find that C of T equals the integral of negative 105 over two times three T plus five quantity squared DT, which is equal to negative 105 over two times the integral of three T plus five to the negative two DT. We let U equals three T plus five, so DU equals three DT or dt equals one third du. Then c of t equals negative 105 over two times one third times the integral of u to the negative two du, which is negative 35 over two times negative one times u to the negative one plus k, which is 35 over two times three t plus five plus k where k is an arbitrary constant. To find the value of K, note that the cost per peak watt of producing the panels at the beginning of 2000, T equals zero, was $4. So C of zero equals four. This gives us C of zero equals 35 over two times five plus K equals four, or K equals one half. Therefore, the required expression is given by C of T equals 35 over two times three T plus five plus one half, which is 35 plus 3t plus 5 over 2 times 3t plus 5, which is equal to 3t plus 40 over 2 times 3t plus 5. 
The cost per peak watt for producing panels at the beginning of 2012 is given by C of 12 equals 3 times 12 plus 40 over 2 times 3 times 12 plus 5, which is approximately 0 0.93 or about 93 cents per peak watt. 